The glass chapter has been largely unchanged for decades. Drug formulations, however, have continued to evolve in ways that place greater demand on the glass container, including increased risk of delamination and product degradation from leachables. Over the last decade, there's been an increase in recalls and warning letters as a result of challenges in the quality of glass packaging. These challenges have been a call to action for pharmaceutical manufacturers and glass suppliers to introduce improved glass packaging options that meet the compendial requirements for type 1 glass. The revision of Chapter 660 is needed to move from what is largely an identity test to a set of modernized, performance-based testing methods. Implementing these updates would allow pharmaceutical manufacturers to select the best glass container for their drug products. More importantly, a revision would enhance the quality of pharmaceutical packaging and improve the ability to protect patients, an essential priority for regulatory authorities, pharmaceutical companies, and parental glass manufacturers. Chapter 660 includes five tests to ensure the finished container lots are compliant with type 1 glass standards. In the current chapter, these tests include the glass grains test, surface glass test, surface etching test, extractable arsenic test, and light transmission tests for colored glass containers. The hydrolytic tests, in combination, assess the broad identity of the glass composition such as good chemical durability as with borosilicate glass or poor durability as with sodalon, and the performance of the form container. The surface glass test is the most frequently cited as it provides a direct measure of the inner surface durability of the final container and can assess lot-to-lot -lot variations in container performance. The extractable arsenic test assures that containers made from arsenic-containing glasses extract acceptably low concentrations into the drug product. Finally, the light transmission test assures that the coloration of the container is adequate to provide consistent protection from light, which may degrade certain drug products. In addition to the tests required by USP, manufacturers also perform a number of additional tests, including visual inspection, bulk glass composition, extractables and leachables, among others. Yes, in addition to moving to a set of modernized, performance-based testing methods and the expanded definition of type 1 glass, there are four additional changes that should be included in the revised chapter to foster continued innovation. One, adopt a new method to quantitatively identify glass containers that have surface heterogeneities and propensity to delaminate, such as the chemical durability ratio test. Two, migrate away from manual titration to auto titrators or ICP, enabling improved test reproducibility and more detailed information about glass extractables. Three, develop a standardized method for extractables to provide risk information as needed per ICH Q3D. And four, provide a quantitative method using current technology to determine glass composition, such as WDXRF or ICP, instead of the outdated glass grains test. <laughs>